Speaking of me almost falling over just now, who here knows who Humpty Dumpty is? Anybody ever hear of Humpty Dumpty? See if you can help me finish these words. Humpty Dumpty sat on a... Humpty Dumpty had a great... And then we know when he fell over, all the king's horsemen and all the king's men tried to put Humpty together again. But... What about after that? What happened to Humpty Dumpty? And I'm so glad that I can share with you exactly what happened to Humpty Dumpty in the sequel to Humpty Dumpty after the fall. After the fall. This is a wonderful book written by Dan Santat. So let's find out together what happened after Humpty Dumpty sat on that wall. After the fall, how Humpty Dumpty got up again. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. But then one day, I fell. You know what? He's, he's kind of famous for it. <laughs> Folks called it the Great Fall. But I didn't think it was that great at all. It was just an accident, and it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. Well, mostly. There were some parts of me that couldn't be healed. Do you ever have an accident, and maybe your boo-boo feels better, but in your heart you're still hurt and sad? That's how Humpty was. After he fell, he just did not feel the same. After that day, I was afraid of heights. I was so scared, it kept me from enjoying my favorite things. You know, Humpty loved all these sugary, fun cereals, but he was scared of the latter. So he was stuck with the boring old people cereal that my grandma eats, and I pretend to eat when she comes to visit. I walked past that wall every day, and I would think about climbing up to be back with the birds. I missed the birds, and I missed being high above the city, but I couldn't do it because I knew that sometimes accidents happen. Mm. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. I got a new pair of binoculars that were great, but it wasn't the same. But then one day, an idea flew by. Anybody see what idea flew by Humpty Dumpty? What's going through the sky right there? A paper airplane. Making plans is harder than I thought. It's easy to get cuts and scratches. But day after day, I kept trying and trying and trying until I got it just right. Look at that. That's not just a paper airplane. It's a paper bird. That's beautiful. My plane was perfect, and it flew through the sky like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt this happy in a long time, and my plane kept flying and flying and flying. It wasn't the same as being up on the wall, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Look at his face. Think in your head. How does Humpty Dumpty feel in this moment? Did something good happen? Did something bad happen? They always do. Here he is on the ground and up, 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 up. His plane's about to land on top of the wall. The very same place Humpty is scared to go back on. I almost walked away again, but then I thought of all the time I'd spent working on that plane and all the other things in life I miss so much. I decided I needed to go climb that wall. The higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it, but I was terrified. Can you say that word terrified? Terrified.
terrified. He was so scared. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. There he is. He's back on the wall. I hope he doesn't fall. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who's famous for falling. Crack, crack, crack. <gasps> Anybody see anything under his shell? Hopefully you will remember me as that egg that got back up again. Crack, 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 crack. <gasps> Something's coming out of his shell. What just came out of his shell? Anybody know what these are? Wings. And learned to fly. The end. Humpty Dumpty was never just an egg, was he? That entire time, he was a bird waiting to come out of his shell. I love this story because it's a reminder to me that sometimes we have to face hard and scary things, things that we've messed up at before, things that might have hurt us before. But when we face them and we come out of our shell, we find out who we really are. And that's why I wanted to share that story with you all today. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I hope you guys have a great day at your library. Bye.